Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the channel. I'm going to show you how you can send large files with Microsoft Outlook. So let us jump into it. The first thing you want to do is go over to your Outlook app. On the left hand side, you'll see new email. You want to create a new email and then click into the body section of your email after you have selected who you are sending the email to as well as a subject. At the top of the page, you will see insert and from here we can tap on insert and we can attach a file. Now, there will be sometimes an option um, when you are looking for a file. Um, if you say um, browse this PC, you can also browse different web locations, but we're going to say browse this PC and you can now look for a file on your device. Now, there could be an opportunity for you now to send a file and you can compress this file, right? But if you are sending a file that's larger than that compression uh, rate, then what we're going to do is we are going to look for a file like this um, Streamio app over here. It's um, 100 and 112 meg. So we're going to tap on insert. Over here it says the file you're attaching is bigger than the server allows. So it says try putting the file in a shared location or sending a link instead. We're going to say okay that's fine. Uh, we're going to go over now to our browser and we have one or two options. The first option um, over here you can see is of course Google Drive. Now Google Drive is easy enough to use. I think we all have used Google Drive um, you know before. So once you've selected the file that you actually want to share you are going to go over and click on the three dots on the right hand side and share it. Now the file that you want to share you have to of course upload so if you're going over to the left hand side you're going to tap on new and then file upload and upload that file and then when it's uploaded you're going to click those three dots you're going to go over to share and you're going to tap on copy link and that link will be copied somebody can access that uh, through here then what you will do is you will take this and just paste that link over here and so uh, whoever is receiving this email will be able to access that. One of the other ways you can do this is um, if you go over to wetransfer.com, I think it's absolutely fantastic. You do have a two gig um, file limit though, but this is a fantastic service. You don't even need to sign up and it's very, very secure. I absolutely love wetransfer. I use it every single day. So we're going to hit over here on the left hand side, the plus button. You're going to go ahead and select the item that you would like to, um, let's say perhaps, uh, we're going to tap on this one here and it's going to start uploading it you can change the title you can add a message and then these three dots over here you can either um, get a we transfer link which you can then go and put in over here in your email or you can go ahead and you can um, send an email transfer so here you just enter the email address that you're going to be sending it to as well as your email address and you're going to go ahead and send that file and then it'll be at the recipient's disclosure they can now go ahead and they can um, open that link and download that file as a zip and then unzip it on their device there we go if you want to transfer big files on outlook that is the way to do it if you have any questions drop it in the comment section below we'll see you next time cheers